Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I thought it'd be fun to teach you guys how to draw. Every time I'm at work, I see this portrait of a llama or an alpaca with a flower crown on its head. So I thought it'd be cute to go ahead and teach you guys my rendition of that actual llama with a flower crown on their head. So let's go ahead and get started. So it'd be a little bit more fun. It's a different kind of tutorial this week. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and make an overall circle. Pretty round, a big circle. Pretty standard, straight down from each side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the bottom. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and start giving some details to the face. First of all, what I'd like to do is jump up here, create one little llama ear. So I'm gonna kind of round it off at the top and then jump over here and around this one. There we go. So I make our two little llama ears, and what they are is they're just like a little bit curved. So this isn't really depicting if it's a llama or an alpaca, because I know it's something about their ears that defines if they're an alpaca or a llama, other than their fur. So I'm gonna go ahead and make like a rounded off section right here. So I'm gonna round off this section. You see if I go and round that off, round this off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath and round off this bottom part right here. So I go down. Okay, so that's my nostrils of my little alpaca llama, whatever it is. And I'm gonna go down. So I'm gonna bring down, go straight down the middle and then curve up on one side and then curve up on the other. I'm actually going to bring down this side as well. Bring down this side of the face. So I'm going to jump down from beneath my little nostrils. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead towards the side of my circle. I'm going to make one eyelid here. And I'm curving it upwards because her eyes are closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and curve this one here. And curve this one here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the corner. So I'm gonna make this really thick here. So I make the eyelashes really thick going outwards. Same over here, bring it out. Make it really thick. I'd like to do is go ahead and go around and give our alpaca some hair. So I'm just gonna go around and that's why I'd never like kept the circle so clean because we were gonna go out and around and make it nice and curly. So how I make my little curly cues is I like to make waves. So if I go like this, so I just go out make swirlies, it just adds a little bit more fun to them. So if I were to get rid of my guidelines, and you see that we just have this regular circle and the nose left behind. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm gonna jump in front of the ears give that curly little effect of hair in front of the ears. I'm um, actually gonna jump inside and curve this part here and then curve inside the ear as well. So if you wanna go ahead and fill those in. I'm just gonna go underneath and give this a little bit of a curly cue underneath here. And 
you can actually do that in a couple of other spots if you would like. I just like to make like curled upwards and even if you want to make a little circle like a little loop here and there. Let's start from this flower right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make one flower petal going out. So we curve outwards and then I'm gonna make this flower petal curve out. So it's like one of those big Hawaiian iris flowers and go in, curve this one out, and then curve this one, bring this one out. And then we'll have like a little, you bring out the middle and you just make little circles around it. We're going to do the exact same flower on the other side. So if I were if I got rid of the guidelines, you'd see what it looked like. So one Hawaiian iris over here, and then I'm going to jump off to this side. And you're going to go out, bring this petal out. And then bring out this petal. Bring out this petal, go out, and back in, out back in and up on top of this one and go back inside so this one and then this one and then we're gonna make the other middle bring out this little iris here bring out this one bring out that one and we're gonna do circle 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 and then we're gonna jump in the middle and we're gonna make a couple of these tiny flowers so I'm just gonna go circle 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 now our job is to go ahead and make these all a bunch of flowers so let's just start in the middle and build them up so pretty simple flowers the five petaled flowers with the rounded edges so petals go out you come to a corner and I'm going to jump inside so it looks like it's overlapping. Bring out this one, then this one. Same here, I'm going to jump out, make a petal behind this one. Make a petal behind this one, and here. Make a petal here, petal here, petal here, petal. Another petal, another petal here and here. I'm gonna jump over here and make another small flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like turn out the petal here. Turn out the petal here. Jump over here, do the same thing. Now we can start adding leaves. So we got a leaf here, a leaf here, we can put a leaf here, maybe a skinny leaf right here, another skinny leaf going this way, a skinny leaf going this way, another skinny leaf going this way, a leaf off to the side over here, and then maybe a leaf going down over here, and a leaf maybe off to the side here. Maybe another floating leaf there. And now to make the flower crown a little bit more crazy, I'm just gonna add like a couple of like some bell flowers. So they'll just be circles coming outwards. So we'll just go ahead and connect them up here. Make a circle. I'm gonna start, put a circle up here. And I just put like little lines in between just to kind of connect them together. I'm gonna do another couple of circles down here and you can make them either like getting smaller in size and just go down just to kind of create a little bit more to it. And I'm just gonna do three down here. All right. So I'm gonna throw some ink.
And there you guys go. There's how to doodle in a pack alpaca or llama with a flower crown alpaca alpaca i can't say it right alpaca an alpaca or a llama with a flower crown i hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tutorial i know a lot of people love llamas i see llamas go through every single day where i work and you know everybody just buys them and buys them so i thought it'd be fun to do a little tutorial on them but yes guys hope you had a most wonderful day and i will see you all later 